I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Greetings, Golden Bear Nation. My name is Jeremy Batchelor, and I'm the proud leader of East High School. I'd like to start off by thanking you, the families of our students, and the partnership that we have in this educational journey. I also want to send a special thank you to the East High School faculty and staff for all of their relentless work all year, but especially during these difficult times. Special shout out to Tracy Kane and, and Rhonda Taylor, who have been a senior advisors and worked uh, tirelessly with our seniors to have an enjoyable year. Also their senior counselor, Ms. Alana Kutan. And then I could not do this job without uh, my co-leaders, Mrs. Roche Huff and Ms. Deborah Campbell, who allow me to do what I do, and they take care of the daily needs while we continue to just try to make East a destination and not an isolation. I also want to thank Mr. Jennings, our CEO, for giving me the uh, uh, honor to be able to serve at East High School. But last but certainly not least, I want to thank the class of 2020 for believing in the mission and the vision and embracing this journey. This class has been through a lot even before the pandemic. And they have been relentless and they have worked hard to get to where they are. So where do we go from here? What will the future hold? Well, life has become somewhat complicated with so much uncertainty and even some might say chaos. I want to read something to you that I hope will help you, encourage you, and assure you. So at my graduation about 30 years ago almost now, something was shared with me that I want to share with the class of 2020 because I've always held it dear to my heart and this class will always be dear to my heart. And it may seem somewhat elementary, but please bear with me. Oh, the places you'll go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may find not any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up, you'll be seeing great sights, you'll join the high flyers who soar to great heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed, you'll pass the whole game, and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll fly of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Expect when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true, the bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fly on, and you'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, and you're not in much fun, unslumping yourself is not easily done. You'll come to a place where the streets are not marked, some windows are lighted, but mostly they're darked. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right or right in three quarters or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple as not, I'm afraid you will find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down log wing oak roads at a breaking neck pace. 
and grind on for miles across weirdest wild places, headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place, where people are just waiting, waiting for a train to go, for a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape. All that waiting and staying, you'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy. All the places you go, there's fun to be done, there are points to be scored, there are games to be won, and the magical things you can do with the ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be, with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too, games you can't win, because you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not, Alone it will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance. You'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that you can scare so much that you won't want to go on. But you will go on through the weather be foul. On you will go through your enemy's prow. On you will go through the Hockham Cross Howe. Onward up many a frightening creek. Through your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with strange birds as you go. Be sure when you step, be, step with care and great act, and remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And you will succeed. Yes, you will see. 98 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you move mountains. So, be your name Buxman or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Alley Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Class of 2020, pause up to you. You have encountered so much. And I want to say thank you again for what you've done for East High School and the legacy that you've left. Graduates, you have now taken the next step in your journey, and I could not be more proud. As you go out into the world, I want to remind you that you have experienced one heck of a bump in the road. You have seen bang-ups and hang-ups, and have been forced to go down some dark streets, as Dr. Seuss talked about. But you have the resolve. You have the roadmap. You have the ingenuity. Continue to be great. Congratulations on your accomplishments. I wish you all the best and the desires of your heart for future lives. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Good morning to everyone. I am London Black and I am East High School Class of 2020 Salutatorian. I am very excited and proud to be before you today. First, I would like to take the time out to thank my loving and supportive parents. I am blessed to have parents who believe in me and all my visions. Mom, thank you for being my much needed headaches. Dad, thanks for treating me like the little princess that I am, no matter how old I get. I would also like to thank each and every one of my teachers from grade school, especially the ones at East High. Thanks to all teachers and staff members who helped and guided me through the years. I feel it to be safe that I speak on behalf of the whole East High graduating class of 2020. And thank you all for your efforts that you have invested in us today. Now, class of 2020, we are here. We finally made it. Although this is not the way we envisioned nor planned, we are still here. And I believe that that's the map. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
That's what matters most. Without getting emotional, I want to encourage you all to look ahead. This unique situation does not determine our greatness, which we will contribute to the world around us. This will make us even stronger than what we prepared for. Be ready to claim it, that we are the class of COVID-19 that stood through it all and still remained as we will cl claim lit. We must not let it discourage us nor change our minds about our futures. We will be the class of struggle, the class of change, the class of fighters, and the class of survivors. And we did it. We, we did it, and we'll continue to do it much more. I would like to end by saying thank you to East High School Golden Bears graduating class of 2020. Last December 31st, as we all watched that shimmering crystal ball descend on Times Square to kick off the new year, the forecast for 2020 was pretty amazing. Japan will build a robotic moon base, China will connect Beijing to London via high-speed rail, cars will drive themselves, the flying car will be airborne, we'll control devices via microchips implanted in our brains, Commercial airspace will take us to the moon. A computer will have the processing power of the human brain. None of us could have imagined what was really in store in 2020 as we are living through the COVID-19 pandemic. Ironically, the Youngstown Foundation was founded in 1918 as a result of the influenza pandemic of gigantic proportions that swept the world and terrified our country. In Youngstown, thousands were stricken and hundreds died. There were savage riots in the steel mills, the winter was bitter cold, housing, food, and fuel were in critical supply. Such were the stresses and the spirit in this city when a group of local prominent businessmen unanimously agreed to form the Youngstown Foundation. Since its start, the Community Foundation has grown to over $125 million in assets and focuses on ensuring the quality of life for every resident of Youngstown. Eight years ago, the Youngstown Foundation created the YSTAR Initiative to ensure that all Youngstown City School graduates have the critical funding needed to continue their education. For each year of high school completed through junior year, every student earns $2,000 for the last dollar costs to attend either Youngstown State University or Eastern Gateway Community College. Students can accumulate up to $6,000 to use for tuition, books, supplies, fees, or parking. For the class of 2020, 52 scholars from Youngstown ran early college, 58 scholars from East High School, and 100 scholars from Cheney High School, a total of 210 scholars have earned $1.3 million. This information will be available for you through the financial aid offices at Youngstown State University and at Eastern Gateway. As the historical COVID-19 class of 2020, we are looking to you as the chosen scholars. You graduate prepared to face this challenging new world. You are part of the digital age, technologically superior to your predecessors, you have all quickly become smart consumers of information and creative problem solvers. And we know you will use this unique experience as well as the education that you've gained so far to continue your lifelong learning and to prosper. Congratulations. Good morning, East High Golden Bears. First, I want to thank my family, friends, and anybody else that has helped me get to where I am today. My time at East has been wonderful, thanks to the staff and principal. Our senior year didn't go all the way as planned, but this setback should not stop any of us from being great. The turn of events in this last year has impacted all of us in so many ways. I know that some of us were ready to go to prom. 
Another of us couldn't wait to go to Florida and get on that beach for our senior trip. And all of us could not wait to walk across this stage and get our diplomas. <sighs> these are the events that make our senior year special. And it's sad to say, but these are some events that we can't get back. I know it's messed up that we didn't really get to enjoy the best parts of our senior year, but this is not the time to give up and stop just because high school is over. This is the time to focus on our future. It's time to physically and mentally prepare for the next step. It doesn't even matter what that next step may be. It's time to set goals and reach them. We have to have the right mindset and be prepared for anything. Remember, this is the only the beginning, and there are better things to come in the future. I love you, East High Golden Bears, Class of 2020 signing out. Good evening, members of the Board of Education, Academic Distress Commission, colleagues in administration, distinguished members of the faculty, class officers, families and friends, and most importantly, members of East High School, class of 2020. <clears throat> Today, I would have liked to look out among so many smiling, happy faces, young men and women ready to greet the future, knowing your possibilities are limitless, but due to the pandemic, this is not possible. I know you are prepared and ready to move on beyond life at East High School. It is indeed gratifying to know that you have matured and become proficient, ready to tackle the challenges that lie ahead of you as you work towards your goals. These last two months have shown your resiliency. When life throws you a curve, you persevere. Class of 2020, you are officially ready for new opportunities and welcome the changes that await you. I look back this afternoon on your journey, a journey that started with a small tentative step of a kindergartner. I see just how far you've progressed. You possess the pride and confidence of a high school graduate. It is an honor and a privilege to be a part of your journey as your CEO, a journey filled with wonderful memories of all those who supported you throughout your years at Youngstown City School District. Your parents and guardians who've helped you, encouraged you, picked you up when you fell down, and loved you unconditionally. Our many gifted and talented staff members who've helped you discover your abilities to develop an inquiring mind, I assure you that although you are moving beyond high school, those same staff members will remember you, hoping to encourage you as you travel along your journey. Your coaches, advisors have nurtured you outside of the classroom through lessons of cooperation, sportsmanship, competition, and compassion. There are countless individuals who have supported you, some who influence you is only known to you. Then of course, there are friends who surround you today, albeit virtually, they're still here with you. Some of those friendships might, might be relatively new or may have extended to your preschool years. Nurture those friendships, carry them forward as new people will enter your life. There are so many facets to the wonderful memories you've collected. Treasure them all. Today concludes a significant and wonderful chapter of your life. An equally significant and wonderful chapter is about to begin. A chapter abounding with adventures of adults becoming, you are becoming. You're leaving the world where others have made decisions for you and you're about to leave your nest egg. So you will be making decisions solving problems, deciding which road to travel. It sounds exciting, and it will be, but we'll, it will have many challenges. When you are challenged or discouraged, I hope you will remember your years at Youngstown City School District and the lesson learned at home and in school. They will give you strength and courage. Have faith in yourself and the unique individual you are. Be true to yourself. Instead of the world changing you, you can help change the world. Remember the advice, the difference between a stepping stone and a stumbling block is the way you use it. I would like to thank all those who have guided you and molded you as a class of 2020. Your role has been instrumental in preparing our graduates for the challenging future. The accomplishment 
of the members of this senior class are outstanding, it is gratifying to know that you were a graduate of East High School. Class of 2020 will be represented at, I'm sorry, class of 2020 will be represented in colleges, universities, trades, and military branches. You will leave us with unforgettab an unforgettable legacy of excellence and achievement and a fine tradition in Youngstown City School District. To the class of 2020, I wish you blessings as you go your way. I trust you will make the most of the opportunities presented before you. With the knowledge you've gained in school, with the guidance of your family and friends, and with the wonderful friendships you've made, I'm confident you will find success and happiness. As your CEO, I'm gifted you a book for summer reading, your last class assignment. The book is entitled, Through All the Pain, I Still Evolve by Contrell Jackson. I wanted to share his story with you for you to understand that no matter what happens in life, you have the ability to write or rewrite your own story. I leave you with the words from the late, great Kobe Bean Bryant. It's one thing you can control. You're responsible for how people remember you or how they don't remember you, so don't take it lightly. Congratulations, class of 2020. Pause up and congratulations to the East High School Golden Bears Class of 2020. I would like to thank Justin Jennings, our CEO, and Joe Maranto, the school superintendent, for all the selfless hours of service they've given to our school district through these unusual times. My name is Brenda Kimball. I'm president of the Board of Education. I would like to give my warmest thank you to Mr. Bachelor and his staff for all that they've done for the students at East High School. I arrived here early today and I just couldn't believe the enthusiasm of the staff outside bringing in gifts and presents and preparing for the graduation and wearing the senior t-shirts. That means a lot to me and this community that you show this much caring and love for the students of East High School. To the students, I just wanna say I know this isn't the year that you expected it to be. And I'm sorry for that. I know that you've had all of your senior activities pulled away from you suddenly. And I'm also sorry for that. But what I'm not sorry for is that the fact that you are still able to walk across this stage and receive your well-deserved diplomas because all across this world, there are many students and staff members who are no longer with us due to this pandemic. I just wanna to say to you that you're probably one of the strongest graduating classes that we've ever had in this school district because you were sent home with a piece of equipment to be your guidance, to be your support system, to be everything that you used to be able to go to in a moment's notice and receive that help. But because of you, we stand here today. Not because of anybody else, because even though Everybody else did everything they were supposed to do to help you. Had you not did your part, we would not be standing here. So I want to congratulate you for staying focused and doing what you needed to do to move forward. I know to you right now 2020 might seem like the worst year ever, but as you grow and you mature, you're going to find out that there's going to be other things that's going to happen in life that you're going to have to overcome. But if you can get through this the way that you've gotten through this year, your senior year, you'll be able to accomplish all of your dreams. So I just want to congratulate you again and want to say God bless and keep you. Be safe and always remember to come back to Youngstown City School District and allow us to know what you're doing with your life. Thank you from the Board of Education. Cherylise Amodovar Velez. Mikarela 
Andrew Jar. Christopher Baker. London Black. Elijah Bray. Anaya Brooks. Jalen Brown. Eddie Bryant. Chantel Kane. Samuel Cartagena. Beta Klein. Caroline Cologne Rodriguez.
Ayana Colvin. Katea Coney. Mark Crenshaw. Ninoshka Creves Rodriguez. Brianna Davis. Dennis. Imani Dorsey. Fantasia Douglas. Deshaun Dupree. David Elder. Tremonte Gervis. <laughs> Charlize Gilbert. Donovan Gillison. Marquan Gilmer. Alden 
Gomez. Rachel George. Amara Green. Anthony Green. Treasure Green. Jonathan Grice. Isaiah Hackett. Maya Hale. Raymond Hammond. William Hargett. Levester Harris. Nathan Harris. Tobias Hayes. Diagene Hogan. Gabrielle Howard. <laughs> D'Amico Jackson.
Daryl Jackson. Jellicai Jones. Laquana Jones. Malachi Jones. <laughs> Kevin Jusino. Brian Lopez. Daniel Maldonado. Angelo Martinez Paez. Kimberly McCann. Donaya McClendon. Malik McIntosh. Juliana Mejia. Mark Mercado. Janaya Merriweather. <laughs> Caitlin Mouse.
Jaylenette Morales. Burhan Noble. Jamez Oliver. Brooke O'Neill. Arnando Ortiz Lopez. Athena Patrick. Samuel Perez. Isaiah Perry. Aylin Quintana. Benjamin Reynolds. <laughs> Louis Rivera. Crystal Rivera LeBron. Destiny Robinson. Adam Rodriguez Cruz. D'Angelo Rosado. Zion Preston.
Ramon Rutledge. Santiago <laughs> Catrice Smith India Trey Smith. Jaylon Stanford. Maurice Steele. <laughs> Robbie Sullivan. Anaya Thompson. <laughs> Lamesha Ware. Shalisa Wilkerson. Asante Williams. Kali Williams. Yeah. Shazé Williams. Marcus Winfrey Butler. Jasmine Young.
we would like to congratulate the class of 2020. At this time, you may take the tassel and turn it from the right side to the left side of your motorboard. Good morning, my name is Santasia Douglas and I am the senior class president of the class of 2020. Class of 2020, I would hate to say goodbye to the people I have known for years, the class that gave meaning to everyone. We have struggled and some of us still struggling, but nonetheless we are survivors and we are going to make it. Disney once said, I can go the distance, I don't care how far, somehow I'll be strong. I know every mile will be worth my while to end up right where I belong. I found where I belong, with my class, and I refuse to say goodbye because this is not the end of our story. Shakira once said, look at how far you come, you filled your heart with love, maybe... Maybe you've done enough, take a deep breath. Don't beat yourself up, don't need to run so fast. Sometimes we can last, but we did our best. The class of 2020 always felt like we was hitting the wall, but we busted through and did our best. Class of 2020, live today as if you were to die tomorrow. We don't know what the future may bring, but what we do know is when today is over, we can't bring it back. Live every day as if it was your last. Class of 2020, we are unique. We are expiring. We are amazing. Class of 2020, we are the Golden Bears and we are East High School. Class of 2020, we are the most legendary class because we will never be like any other class out there, like a family with hearts so true. We have only known each other for a short period of time, but it feels like forever. And now it's time for us to take our next step into the world. This is not goodbye, class of 2020. This is farewell to next time. And I promise, class of 2020, this is not goodbye. We are the class of 2020 now and forever. And class of 2020, we will forever be victorious. On behalf of the Youngstown City School Board of Education, we would like to congratulate the students of East High School, the 2020 graduating team. We would also like to thank the parents, family, and friends for helping to support our students through this time. Thank you, congratulations, be safe, and God bless you. Good day, graduating class of 2020. I am here to give special thanks to the district's faculty and staff for their years of dedication and service to all of our students and let us remember those who are not with us, whose love and support will be with us always. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. Your graduation will help us to serve your community by sending an essential message of the importance of an education which will uplift our city and beyond. Understand you are the future and the embodiment of what the world needs most. Congratulations. What the world needs now are people that care for others, people that live a purpose-driven life, people that recognize that others face challenges, and people who will pursue their genius to find solutions to what ails and divides us. So as you become the person you are meant to be, please continue to set goals and follow your passions and dreams. You're in the perfect position to change the world and possibly impact the future. Class of 2020, you have the makings of great leaders. So lead by example and help others achieve greatness also. During the tough times, know that you'll always have us here to get you through with support, goodwill, and encouragement. Thank you, and once again, warmest congratulations on your well-deserved success. Best wishes on your graduation day and your future endeavors. Once again, and congratulations to the East High Golden Bears Class of 2020. Thank you.
Good afternoon. My name is Roche Huff, the Ninth Grade Academy Principal East High. As we close our unique celebration for the class of 2020, we want to thank our parents, friends, family, and community members, and most importantly, our staff, for taking the time to celebrate and honor the class of 2020. We want to celebrate all that you've accomplished and achieved to get to this important milestone in your life. I want you to remember, graduates, that you are just as unique as this graduation ceremony. I'm sorry we didn't get to spend the last part of your senior year standing in the hallways, loudly reminding you to take off your hoods, put your bellies away, or hurry up and get to class. However, I'm honored to now call you all graduates. When you look back at your senior year, you'll always have a story to tell, but I know you are strong and resilient and you will do great things as you move forward. You are now part of a larger community, East High alumni, and it's a proud community to be a part of. Make us proud, don't forget, pause up, and again, congratulations to the class of 2020. We will truly miss you all. Thank you.